You've just spent a pleasant afternoon in your blacksmith shop, made some nice hardware, now it's time to mount it. What are you going to use? Do you just go to the hardware store, get zinc plated bolts and stick that thing up there and not worry too much that those bolts are calling more attention to themselves than your hardware is? For the most part, you really want to show off the hardware, not the fasteners. If the fasteners are a Decker development, you probably want something better than just plain old store-bought zinc plated bolts. What are your alternatives? Personally, my preference for bolts are square headed bolts. I think they really look good with forged hardware, but some people prefer regular hex headed bolts just because they're easier to get a wrench or a socket onto. But in either case, if you can find bolts that aren't plated or remove the plating yourself, you can color match that to your work. Whatever you did to finish your hardware item can also be done to the bolts. Treat them exactly the same way. In this case, I heat this up to a red finish, wire brush it, and before it's cool, I put wax on it and it makes this nice black semi-gloss finish. I really like that effect. You can do the same thing with untreated bolts. Unfortunately, finding unplated bolts can be a difficult task. There's a place online, blacksmithbolt.com. They have a good assortment of hardware that isn't plated, including square headed lag bolts. So that's not a bad place to go, but they are kind of expensive for a few bolts. If you want to use the hardware store stuff, what do you do? A lot of people just go ahead and burn that off in the forge, but the fumes and the vapors that come off the zinc plating are toxic. It's highly likely to make you sick. Maybe it won't kill you, although I know of at least one case where a blacksmith that was doing that did develop respiratory problems and died very shortly thereafter because he was burning off zinc plating on hardware in his forge. For me, it's just not worth the risk doing that. So my approach is take these things, sometimes hundreds of them at a time, and I put them in an acid bath. I've been using the same hydrochloric acid for 10 years now or more, it still works. It used to strip the plating off of these things in about 15 minutes. Now it might take a couple hours because it's getting weaker and weaker, but it still does the job. If you don't want to invest in that and you don't want to have stronger acid around, there's good news, you can do this in vinegar. Now I've had this little handful of hardware bits soaking in the vinegar for about an hour. And if you look close, you can see that the smaller screws are starting to turn a darker gray. That means this is doing its job, still producing a lot of bubbles, so it's still pretty active. But let me fish something out of there and see what it looks like. Now when I'm working with the larger batch of acid, I put things in this plastic colander and I can just set that down. This holds up on the side of the bucket. This stuff then is submerged and I can put a few hundred small wood screws or a hundred lag bolts or something like that in here. And it very readily strips stuff off longer bolts, other things that I need to strip the plating off of. I can just wrap up in some bailing wire and hang from the edge of the bucket. Makes it pretty convenient. But like I say, you don't have to do that. You can do it in the vinegar. That one does not look very well stripped to me. That looks like it's still pretty shiny. Now in the end, I'll strain all this off and try and pour the vinegar back in the bottle. That one looks like it's pretty well stripped. But I think these need a little bit longer. It may take a couple hours. I have never had these stay in the acid long enough to actually cause damage to the threads and eat them up and corrode the whole thing. So it looks like it's been buried in the ground for ages. And I've left them for quite some time. So it's not, so it really isn't all that time sensitive. And in the vinegar, if you leave them overnight, you're probably not gonna ruin it, but keep an eye on it anyways. So what do you do with them once you get the plating stripped off? These still are not gonna color match your hardware. So let's take a look at some of these that are already stripped and show you what I might do with these. We'll take one of these hex head bolts, make a square headed bolt out of it, and then, then show you what I do to the square headed bolts because I still think they are a little bit too pristine and too perfect looking to really look good on forged hardware. You'll need some sort of a heading plate to work in to do this. It can be as basic as just a hole drilled in a bar if you're only doing a few, or you can make something much nicer if you're gonna do this quite often. Now, since you can't buy square headed bolts at most hardware stores, once you get the plating stripped off, you can just square up the hex head bolts, and they are a little bit less perfect than the regular square headed bolts, so in some ways I like those a lot better.
Since I use wax as a finish quite a bit, that's typically what I do to the fasteners. Now I have a bolt that very nicely matches my finished hinge and complements it instead of detracting from it. If I'm going to go ahead and use a hex head bolt, I still prefer to put a little bit of a bevel on it, give it just a little bit of a forged appearance, and I think that helps. Now personally, I think either one of these options, either the hex head with a little bit of a bevel forged around it, or the square headed bolt, look so much better. And you can do the same thing in threaded bolts. They don't have to be lag screws. You can do it with wood screws and by any wood screw you want. Flat heads or round heads, slotted screws, Phillips head screws, whatever fastener you want, if you can buy it in zinc plated, you can strip the zinc off and make it work on your hardware and it's going to look so much better than the plated stuff. Now personally, for wood screws, I prefer slotted, not because I like messing with slotted screws. They're still a pain in the neck, but they look so much better on forged ironwork than Phillips head screws or Torx drives or square head. All those other more modern, more contemporary fasteners, in my mind, just look a little out of place. If you like them, feel free to go ahead and use them, but know that if you can buy them zinc plated, you can strip them in that vinegar or some other acid bath, and you can make something that looks way better on your ironwork. If you're enjoying the videos here on Black Bear Forge 2, but haven't checked out the main channel, Black Bear Forge, be sure to do so. Those are a little bit longer, a little bit more detailed. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.